Hey y'all, it's Andrea with The Cutest Little Thing. Thanks so much for hopping on to watch this video today. If you enjoy thrift flips, DIYs, home decor, upcycling, and all of the things, then you're at the right place. If you've never been to my channel before, welcome and I hope you like what you see. And if you've hung out with me before, thank you so much for coming back. All right, let's get started with today's projects. Y'all, I was so excited to find this swan when I went thrifting one day. My husband actually saw it first and he guarded it until I got over there to it and I quickly snatched it up. I loved it as is. I love that gray stone color, but there was a little bit of wear around the bottom and some other various places on it, so I decided to go ahead and paint it. As you saw, I went with the color charcoal in the Rust-Oleum chalk brand paint. This is really good paint. I have been using it some, and I am really impressed with it. So I just went in and I did full coverage on his body part and then on, or I've, I've been calling it a her, I don't know why I just said his, um, and then I started going on her feathers and initially I just kind of started doing a dry brushing technique, but I just kept going over and over those feathers until I got the look that I was wanting. It was, um sort of challenging to paint over all the feathers, all the detail, and there was just a lot of cracks and crevices, but I just kept going over it until I got the coverage that I wanted. And on the body part and the head and neck and all of that, I did two full coats, two good full coats of the charcoal color and then on those feathers, I just kept going over it, like I say, until I got the look that I wanted. And sort of, I did that same technique on the bottom there as well on that little faux rock because it was kind of the same way with a lot of cracks and crevices. So I just sort of um, kept going over it until I got that look that I wanted. I looked this piece up online after I brought it home and it did say it was um, an antique. I mean, I don't think it's super old or anything. And I did see where it was selling on eBay and other places for like $130. But everywhere I saw, it was sold out. So this piece is just a treasure. Like, I was so excited. And I was so torn because I wanted to keep her for myself but I just can't keep everything that I find, and I have to let her go. So off to my booth she went after I got her all painted and fixed up. She also has a light inside of her. At the bottom, there's a place where you can open her up, and there's a battery pack, and you just turn that switch on, and she does color lights and white lights. Now I'm going in with this Dixie Belle Best Dang Wax in the dark, the brown color. And I just took my sort of like a chippy style brush and I just brushed over with this dark wax, especially on those feathers and on that rock, that little faux rock that she's sitting on. I did brush some on the body, head and neck as well. But I really just brush down good in those feathers and into that rock. And I just cover the whole piece with it. And I kind of let it sit for a few minutes before I wipe any excess or anything like that. 
um, I did let it sit and kind of absorb because I wanted to keep a lot of that dark wax on there. I really like the look that it gave. And here I am just taking, I had a piece of uh, drop cloth here and I'm just wiping off a little bit of that excess and just kind of wiping that wax into that paint. And as you can see that, what the difference that dark wax made, I love it. I wanted to lighten her up just a little bit, so I took my Dixie Belle Best Stain Wax in the white, and I did the same technique. I used a different brush, but it's still a sort of chippy style brush, and I just, again, brushed especially into those feathers and that faux rock. I also brushed some on her body and head and neck as well, but I just really polished that in into that paint, into those cracks and crevices. I wanted a lot of that wax to stay on, but I did let it sit for a few minutes, and then I took that piece of drop cloth, and I wiped away the excess, and just kind of wiped that wax into that paint, and y'all look how pretty she is. I love her so much. I think she is beautiful. Let me know what you think of this piece, guys. This piece is a little white wooden crate full of pine cones and loaded with red berries. So we're gonna give this a quick makeover. I'm just cleaning my area with my little vacuum first. I will link that in the description. That is an awesome little tool to have on hand. I'm going in with my Rust-Oleum chalked paint brand in the linen white. I liked it white and how it looked a little bit chippy and rustic. I just went in and kind of touched it up. So I'm sort of doing a dry brushing technique. I'm not doing full coverage. Just going over it really quick. on all sides and I also did the bottom as well now I'm taking these Prima transfers I chose the one I wanted to use on this crate and I cut it out we just peel away that clear piece. And just lay that down. You take your little transfer tool that comes with the transfer packet. And you just rub back and forth while you slowly lift up on that little clear piece of paper film. You just slowly lift up. As you go back and forth with that tool and if you lift up and you still have some transfer stuck on there you just lay it back down and rub a little bit more and slowly but surely you'll get your whole transfer stuck on your piece and just kind of rub it make sure it's down and adhered good I'm just taking my exacto knife and I'm going through like where those little slats are and I'm just, I'm sorry my head's in the way here, but I'm just taking that tool and rubbing through those slats and just kind of cutting that transfer where, where it will lay down in each of those slats. And there's that, you guys. So I'm just sealing that transfer in with my DIY Clear Wax. And that's just going to get that sealed and protect that piece. So I just took a piece of a pool noodle here and I cut it where those red berries were in that styrofoam. I'm just kind of filling that in. And now I'm just hot gluing some Spanish moss on top of that just to cover all of that. We are going to use some greenery and some other goodies to fill our crate. I just cut my greenery and just stuck it right in that styrofoam piece that was already in there. It was in good shape, so I left it in there. 
Now I just cut some of those red berries off of um, that piece that was in there and I am just painting them blue. This is Admiral Blue, it's acrylic paint. And I'm just taking a teeny tiny paintbrush and painting each of those red berries blue because I want blueberries to match my transfer and just to go with that piece a little bit better. Now I'm taking this little bird I had in my stash and I'm just giving him a good coat of blue pine paint in the fusion. And I believe I did two coats on him. And I'm gonna add him to this piece as well. So I'm just sticking those blueberries that we painted into my piece and just securing them with a little bit of hot glue. And the rest of those berries I just put away in my stash. I'll have tons of blueberries or red berries for a while to go with my projects and things. So that was a really good find to get all of those berries And I'm just taking my Dixie Belle Best Stain Wax in the brown and I'm just going over the little bird's tail and wings, just kind of brushing that dark wax on there, getting in those cracks and crevices. Just brushed his little feet and his beak and even a little bit on his belly, just sort of did a dry brushing technique. And then I just decided to go all over him with just a little bit of wax and just rubbing that in really well. And look how cute he is. And I'm just going to sit him there on the corner of that crate and hot glue him right down. And I had a few loose berries and I just hot glued them and laid them right on the moss. It looks like some of the blueberries had just fallen off of the bush and were laying on the ground. And there we go, you guys. Look how cute this turned out. Let me know what you think of this. I absolutely love it. Two of my favorite things, birds and blueberries. For this project, I grabbed this vase. I had it in my stash. I thrifted it not too long ago. I cleaned it up nicely. Now I'm going in with the color Blue Pine in the Fusion paint. And I did a good full coat. I wanted to add some clay molds to this vase. I thought it would add a really nice touch. So I'm just brushing in cornstarch here in my molds just to prevent that clay from trying to stick. And here is my air dry clay. I get this off of Amazon. You can use IOD or any other brand that you would like. This is the brand I had on hand and I'm just uh, finishing this pack up and this IOD mold um, is the trimmings 2 that's the name of this of this one so I chose um, this one mold it was the perfect width for the top of that vase it just fits perfectly right there on top and I'm just using E6, E6000 glue to um, glue this clay down to my vase. And you just wanna gently press that clay uh, because it's still pliable, it's not dry. I'm putting it on uh, before it's dry. And I just continue to cast that same mold strip that I chose until I get enough trimmings to go all the way around the top of that vase. And you just want to press that clay down and just kind of slide your finger across to remove any excess clay. 
and then you just want to gently release that clay trimming out of the mold very carefully you don't want to tear it and as you can see I just kind of roll my clay in a snake form and lay it down into this trimmings mold and you can add clay as well if you don't quite have enough in your trimmings you can add some more and just press it down in there and I'm just using my scissors to cut my mold how I need it to fit on my vase and I just gently press those pieces into each other and I just use my finger to rub my glue down uh, but if you don't want to use your finger you could use like a chippy brush or a sponge brush to spread your glue down And you just gently want to mash it you don't want to mess up your detail on your clay but you do want to press it down all down on the edges and everything so that it will adhere as it dries and cling to your piece rather than have a gap between your clay and your vase or whatever it is you're working on so you just want to gently press on those edges of of that clay I decided I wanted a little more added to this vase so I chose another mold on this on this same trimmings to IOD and it's just a little bit wider I wanted it to go um, around the top part of my vase so again I'm just casting that clay until I get enough to go all around the top portion of my vase and I'm just doing the same technique using my scissors to cut to fit and gluing that down with my E6000 just being sure I get enough glue on there to cover the entire piece of clay so that it will adhere as it dries And just being careful to position that clay to see how I need it and there you can see how I was kind of pressing those clay pieces together so they would all join and now I'm just taking that same blue pine color and painting over that clay and also I decided to do a second coat on that vase the first coat really um, covered well but I just wanted to do a second coat for good measure and I'm also taking my small paintbrush and just going in all those cracks and crevices and just getting that paint all in the detail of my clay where that is covered really well And guys look out for new videos on YouTube every Tuesday and Saturday I'm going to try to get those uploaded around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so be sure and look out for new videos every Tuesday and Saturday and I appreciate all you guys support and all your likes and comments and shares and for subscribing to my channel I really appreciate it I decided to go in with these really pretty Prima transfers. I just thought how pretty would a pop of pink be on this bluish gray color. And I just love these. I love all the detail in these transfers with the butterfly and the birds and the writing and all of that. So I just kind of cut that transfer sheet. I kind of pieced it um, how I wanted it on my vase. And I'm just taking that transfer tool. It comes in the pack of your transfers. And I just rub back and forth. And I gently lift up that clear piece while I rub back and forth. And you just want to slowly and surely lift it up um, until all of your transfer is adhered onto your piece. And then I just kind of rub it to make sure all the pieces are adhered and... Um, 
and it's on there really good i don't have to worry about any part of it coming up and as you can see i just kind of cut some of that wording and filled in the gap there i didn't really like how there was a gap where you could kind of see where it started and stopped so i just cut that wording and applied that right there in that gap And I just kept working and cutting on that transfer and adding pieces here and there where I thought it looked good. I just wanted to make it all come together and not look like it was all pieced on there, <laughs> if that makes sense. And I believe I ordered these off of Amazon or Etsy one, but I will link all of the products we used in today's video, I will link them all in the description box below. And if you're watching on Facebook, feel free to comment and ask any questions. Now I'm going in with Dixie Belle's Best Stain Wax in the Brown. I started at the bottom where the vase creases, and then I just decided to... Um, while there was still some wax on that brush, I just kind of dry brushed all on that vase. And I also got some in the, where the moldings were at the top. And I just, it's sort of like a chippy brush that I'm using. And I just brushed all of that in, those details of the vase. And now I'm taking my um, little ink pad here. I think this is the color Walnut. And I'm just kind of rubbing where there's, uh, on the edges and just certain places on this vase. And here I'm just dry brushing more of that brown wax all over. And now I'm going in with Dixie Belle's Best Stain Wax in the white and just doing the same technique of going right over where I applied that brown wax. I did let that brown wax sit a few minutes and then I wiped off a little bit of the excess with a piece of drop cloth before I applied the white wax. And I'm just getting that white wax in um, on the edges and in the creases and the detail on those uh, moldings that we casted at the top. And just doing that same dry brushing everywhere else. I let that sit. And now I'm just sealing in my transfer with my DIY clear wax. Now, Fusion Paint has a built-in sealer, so you don't have to worry about sealing Fusion Paint, but I did want to seal in that transfer. And guys, look how pretty this turned out. I love that pop of pink on that blue-gray color vase. I love that Fusion color. Let me know what you think of this, and thanks so much for watching. And here are our finished projects one more time. Our beautiful swan. And our cute little wooden crate with the blueberries. Last but not least, our beautiful vase with the pop of pink. Let me know what you think of these. Let me know your favorite. And thank you so much for joining me. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share around. Thank you for helping my channel grow. And I will see you on the next video.